there is a spirit in the atmosphere. When you reach the second month, and uh, the Lord said, I want you to have my people be aware of the spirit of a can. As you know, it was, hallelujah, in the second month when the people of Israel attack Jericho. Amen and amen. And after the victory, there are some devoted things. And Achan find himself in trouble. But before I speak to you about Achan, the spirit of Achan, that will manifest every year, the spirit of Achan manifests itself, hallelujah, upon God's people. And the Lord said this year, have them be aware. My God, my God. So, before I explain to you, you know, the story of Ekan, let's go right now to Joshua chapter 6, verse 3 to 5. Joshua chapter 6, verse 3 to 5. And we read, March around the city once with all the armed men and do this for six days. So, the second month, the month of Ziv is, is also a month of strategy when God is revealed unto his people the things that they must do. Look at the strategy in order for them to capture Jericho. He, he said to them, you know, you are going to march around the city with all the arm, arm and, and you will do this for six days. Verse 4, have seven priests carry trumpets of ram's horn in front of the ark. On the seventh day, march around the city seven times with the priest blowing the trumpet. When you hear them sound a long blast on the trumpet, have the whole army give a loud shout. Then the wall, the wall of the city will collapse and the army will go up, everyone straight in. My God, my God. So, the second month, it's a month when you will receive a strategy from the Lord in order to obtain your Jericho. Hallelujah. Your Jericho is this place of promise, is this desire, is this prayer, this petition, this very thing you've been asking God to obtain. But God will give you a strategy for you to get it. And in this case, the Lord said to them, if we go back, a, a, a chapter 6, verse 1, listen to this. Now the gates of Jericho was securely barred. Because of the Israelites, no one went out and no one came in. Let me tell you, when you are after something, your enemy, your enemy sees you. And your enemies is saying that I will not allow you to enter and be blessed. Your enemy, the devil, 
already know the object of your prayers and what you want God to do for you. So we see Jericho was the object of God's people's prayer. And you see, they barred the place. They barred Jericho to a point, you know, the Israelites cannot come in. They said they barred Jericho. So the Israelites, because of the Israelites, when you see you after something, guess what? You know, the enemy, Satan, his people, his evil spirits, his demonic angels, they bow the police. And you cannot get in there and obtain your blessing. Let's read the, uh, uh, verse 2. Joshua 6, verse 2. Then the Lord said to Joshua, See, I have delivered Jericho into your hands, along with its kings and its fighting men. But you know, if I was Joshua, I would say, God, hold up, hold up, God. You know, I've been barred here. Don't you see? <laughs> the devil barred Jericho, you know, and I cannot get in there. But God go ahead and said, hey, Joshua, you see, I have given you Jericho. Sometimes you have to, in order to step in feet, in order to get these things, you cannot go by what you see. You cannot go by what you see. Because God said, I have given you Jericho, along with its kings, along with his fighting men. You say, oh boy, there is a king there. He is against me. He is fighting men are against me. You know, the devil, you know, he is against you. He is fighting demon angels. He is fighting people. They bar. They stand guard. They said, uh-huh. I know you want this. You will not get that. But God sent me to tell you. Hallelujah. That this is the same word that he said to Joshua. See, I have delivered this blessing into your hands. I have given you possession of this territory, of this land. Hallelujah. If you are opening a business in a new area, I have delivered this territory into your hand. And all the people that are opposing you. Hallelujah. And, it's good. and this is the strategy that he gave to Joshua. But when you see you have the devil against you. And you cannot get that blessing. You have to do. You have to say, God, where is my strategy? Where is my strategy? Today. Hallelujah. If you ask God. For a strategy, I want you to enter your womb. A blessing that you cannot get. You've been praying about for a long time. You are going to ask God, what is my strategy? What, I, what I'm seeing, you are seeing it. But yet you said, you have delivered Jericho into my hand. Give me my Jericho. Give me my strategy, Jericho, so I can go and possess Jericho. Right now, what we see, they obey the strategy given by God. And God said, on the seventh day, you will blow your trumpet, you know, at once, and the wall of Jericho will, will, will uh, fall, will collapse. And he said, and then you guys, you are going to go straight in and possess Jericho. Amen and amen. But the spirit of a king entered the atmosphere. You may have a first victory, but you have more victory or more territory ahead for you to possess. So by following the strategy, they obtain the Jericho. A lot of time you see people start very well 
and then they enter trouble. Let's go right now to Joshua chapter 7 now. And we are going to read now verse 4. So they have, but before I read verse 4 for you, let's, let me tell you what happened. So now, God said, you got Jericho, now go get a high. But God, God already know the spirit of Achan entered the atmosphere after the victory. Verse Joshua chapter 7 verse 4. So about 3,000 went up. But they were routed by the men of AI. So, 3,000 men now go to conquer AI. They said, okay, we got Jericho. And uh, now we are going after AI. And guess what? They suffer a big defeat. So let's jump from verse 4 to verse 11. So, Joshua, in verse 10, said to the Lord, What is happening? What is happening? So, the Lord said in verse 10 to Joshua, Joshua was on the floor crying because, you know, they suffered defeat, people are dying. said, What's going on? So, God answered Joshua in Joshua 7, verse 11. Israel have sinned. They have violated my covenant, which I commanded them to keep. They have taken some of the devoted things. They have stolen. They have lied. They have put them with their own possession. Oh, hallelujah. So they have Jericho. But they, God said, okay, there are certain things, certain articles you will give me as, you know, they, you are going to devote certain articles, certain things for me. This is the same way when you get, when you get paid, people don't realize that. And you don't pay your tithe. God said, you know, when you don't pay your tithe, you know, you are robbing God. So, they committed a robbery of the devoted things when they conquered Jericho. And then now they said, oh yeah, let's get in rich, let's get in high. And then they encountered defeat. You know, this is what you should be aware of. When God bless you, be careful not to violate God's covenant. Everything, every blessing God is going to give you, you enter a covenant. I'll do this for you. Guess what? You must do that for me, said the Lord. The same way, I'll give you a job, but you must give me my tie. They refuse. The, because the tie, if you read Deuteronomy 26, you know the tie, the first fruit, must be devoted to the Lord. So these articles, these things, they should be viewed as devoted things. But they ended up stealing them. And the Lord said, Israel have seen, they have violated my covenant, which I commanded them to keep. They have taken some of the devoted things, not all, some of the devoted things. They have stolen, they have lied, they put them with their own possession. So now we are going to scroll down now to verse 20 and 21 to see how Achan 20 and 21, Joshua 
chapter 7. Let's stay there. So we may expose the spirit of Achan and not to allow the spirit of Achan, especially in the second month, to enter our lives. Verse 20. Achan replied, It is true, I have sinned against the Lord, the God of Israel. This is what I have done. He confessed. He confessed. This is why God doesn't like, you know, robbers. God doesn't like thief. God doesn't like liars. You know, the spirit of a king will cause you to be a thief, will cause you to be a liar. When somebody doesn't pay their tithes, they're a thief and a liar. They're saying, God, you have not blessed me. I don't have the tithe to give you. You know, I can go to your church and break those uh, chairs and go home. I can go to your to your church and you know install you know pens and papers and take them home with me. You know you are taking devoted things in the chapel of God. You see people go to church and they they're stealing Bibles. They said that this church got too many Bibles. They can spare one. People go to church stealing Bibles, stealing a, a paper towel. You find you put ten paper towel there, and they, 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 they just steal them. I said, "Oh yeah, the church got a lot of paper towel. I don't have to buy paper towel. I never buy paper towel. I take some from the church. <laughs> These are devoted things. Oh, I, I don't have to pay my my tie. Tie was um, all always they used to do things. I don't have to pay ties." And then, curse enter you. you. You cannot lift up your heads in front of the enemy. You know, you, you have people, you know, you were in slavery in, his, in Egypt. Now you are free. And yet you become a slave because you cannot enrich, you cannot be blessed. Because you are a thief. And then, the spirit of the can cause you to convert. Listen to this. When I saw in the plunder <coughs> a beautiful robe from Babylonia, 200 of shekels of silver and a bar of gold, weighing 50 shekels, I coveted them. Hallelujah. I coveted them. When somebody doesn't pay their tithes, they coveted the tithe of the Lord. They said, this is, uh, what should I give? What should I give? You know? And he said, I coveted them and took them. And then listen to this. They are hidden in the ground inside my tent with the silver underneath. My God, my God, Achan was caught. In the second month, in the calendar of God, the month of save, don't get caught with the devoted things, said the Lord. Hallelujah. This is the month of partnership. This is the month to be in the army of God. Everything that you have, should be for the Lord, and now you find yourself stealing the devoted things, the things that belong to the Lord. So my brothers, my sisters, do not allow the spirit of a can to enter your mind, your body, and cause you to covet the things that belongs to God. Saying that, you know, you know, God doesn't need his tie anymore. I will not pay my tie. God doesn't need this. God doesn't need that. When you know, when you give, 
more shall be given unto you. What you see happen when you allow the spirit of a can to enter your life, you will not get your next victory. There are a lot of people. God will give you a victory this month. But it's what you do. Do you consecrate that victory by giving to the Lord what, is, what should be devoted unto Him? Be blessed by this message. Be aware of the spirit of a king. And do not allow yourself to be hated by the Lord. Because God said he hates thieves. He hates liars. The spirit of a king should be cast out from your heart so you may inherit the promise of the Lord so you may conquer your promise I say these things in Jesus name Amen